This is what happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it. Sean says he's a good boy. However, I'm not so sure. What were you just doing? He's not talking. <laughs> anyway, you enjoying that root beer gum? Good stuff? Homer wants a piece too, but he can't have it because he's a cat, right? Don't give him any ideas. All right, Kristen, relax. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, it wasn't a typical Monday today because it wasn't a typical Sunday. Flash turned out to be very uncomfortable last night and I was up all night with him basically. Then Maddie uh, was nice enough to get up early this morning and help me bring him to the vet. So he had his fudge factory closed down for a bit. <laughs> it was out of business. But they got it half up and running, so, uh, yeah, he had to have his anal glands expressed. Oh, look who's here. Homer at my feet. Homer's just throwing himself at my feet. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to bring him back on Thursday. What are you doing to me, cat? You're weird. At least he's not clawing me. I guess I shouldn't complain. So, he's feeling a little bit better. Not completely back to normal, but hopefully uh, when we bring him back on Thursday, they'll say that uh, he doesn't need to have the other one like flushed or removed or whatever they're going to do that they need to put him out for. Hopefully, right, man? I yeah, bro uh, Verdell is being a good brother right now <laughs> by leaving him alone, but Verdell was so sad this morning when Flash went to the doctor. What did he do, Kristen? He sat in behind the front door the whole time we were gone. And the cats surrounded They circled the wagons around him. And he cried and he sent out distress signals for Flash. He prayed. He took a knee. He did everything that a good brother should do. Right, man? And then he sniffed That's right. where his butt was. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to elaborate on that part. Maybe he's got his own fudge factory issues. I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm tired of these animals getting sick because the vet knows me way too much. I require another piece of styrofoam. You require more styrofoam? Congratulations. Kristen's working on her beads over here. Alright, guys. So it's 8.30. 8.37 to be exact. It's been a long, long day. And it started yesterday night when I was up all night with Flash. Who's feeling much better right now, aren't you, puppy? Puppy, are you feeling better? Yes. You're worth every minute of that day, you precious little puppy. All right, so Flash is feeling much better. I guess Kristen's watching Netflix. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I earned it. I worked really Kristen worked super hard on her beads today, and they are gorgeous. I can't wait to show you guys the finished product, but you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. So, what I want to know from you guys is, what is your go-to comfort meal? It's been a long day. I want to eat something that's satisfying. A lot of people are like, ooh, I'd have a piece of chocolate cake or something like that. Well, I'm not a sweets person. I am a salty person. So when I craved, you know, I, what? <laughs> I chuckled. You chuckled. When I crave something delicious, I want like a slice of pizza or I want pasta. You know, some people want chocolate cake or a candy bar or something like that. Me and Verdell, though, <laughs> we love something salty. So I married the right person. I married a Greek. All of the Greek food is salty because of this. That's a cheese. So I'm making myself my favorite comfort meal tonight, and that is Greek pasta toss with the fake meat, spinach, some beautiful organic pasta, some feta cheese. I don't have any pesto. Tomorrow shopping day, I'm going to get some fresh pesto. But today, I'm going to put in a half a jar of these beautiful roasted peppers with uh, garlic in it as well. So I'm going to chop that up and put that in. So I'm excited to eat this because I want to chow down. <laughs> and of course, all the other accoutrements, you know, tomato, cucumber, all that. So I guess we'll check back when it's done. I mean, I guess you guys don't need an explanation. Boil the pasta, 
put it all in a bowl, mix it up. That's basically it. I need some tasty tasters up in here. Looks like I'm all set. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, a baby with a bib? Yes. That's crazy. All right, let's see what we got. All right, it's comfort food night. Wow. It's the ultimate comfort food dinner, except for macaroni and cheese. I asked everybody to leave in the comments, please, 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 please. What's your comfort meal? <laughs> What's your go-to comfort meal? Kristen, that TV is extremely loud. Are you deaf? <laughs> Are you hearing impaired? Sorry. It's good. Is it? <sighs> it's a nice summer pasta go-to meal. What's your go-to meal? Mac and cheese. Of course it is. Mac and cheese with Morningstar fake meat. That's right. But, question. Answer. If Gardein came out with a fake meat, which would be your favorite? Well, I'd try it, but this I just love the meal starters so much. So much you could die? Mm. <laughs> then I can't eat it anymore. That napkin actually looks like it could make that into a baseball tee. <laughs> it's so cool! But you'd be on the stripey team, the diagonal stripey team. Yeah. The shorts are cute, too. Thanks. <laughs> I have to eat. I'm feeling <laughs> giddy. Yeah, I'm really hungry. Let's. I, I'll give you a hundo if you stick your face in the bowl and eat like Ralphie. No! <laughs> Show us how the little piggies eat. Oh no, it wasn't Ralphie, it was Randy, the brother. Chris, you want to earn a quick hundred? You want to earn a quick hundred? No? TD said, let's get this pig rolling. TD said he would eat it like that. Of course. <laughs> he wants his hundo. Hi, Gigi! Deli, good boy! Of course he is, but Flash is the best. He was such a good boy today. Then the doctor proceeded to talk to us for half an hour about all of the pets. How's Homer's asthma? How's Verdell's diabetes? How's Gaston's peepee? -pee? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Because we have half the pets that go there. Yeah, look at she's doing the happy dance. Do the happy Maddie dance. Yeah. <laughs> happy. All right, let's go. All right, all right, all right. Quit yapping. Till next time. Much love.